Hi class, today we are going to look at more of the tools for photo restoration. Again, if you look at the toolbox and you have them two up, which you do with that little top right corner, then they are one, two, three, four, fourth tool on the left and the fifth tool on the left. We're going to look at the clone stamp tool. That's the fifth tool on the left. It's the first one in there. If you go digging in there, it's the first one. And we are going to take care of the scratch and you could pick up any image even online for practice where you can just download an image that has scratches and specks and little problems. This is even true like if you think about a pimple um, you could you could if you could imagine this a different shape you could be cleaning up things like that. What you what you want to be aware of is that you're not trying to clean up a huge area. You are cleaning up small areas or this kind of like area. Um, I would not replace whole entire areas with a clone stamp tool. Anyway, you look for a good area near the scratch, one of very similar value to where the scratch is on. And I'm going to get pretty close here. Option, click, let go, and come now on top of the uh, problem area, maybe even work with a little bit of a larger brush um, using the brackets next to the letter P. I am fixing this and I'm replacing it with where the crosshair is. You have got to watch that crosshair. Actually, it's as important as where you're painting because if I paint something from the crosshair that has you know, another blemish or problem, I'm indeed going to put it right on where I'm painting. So you do this with super care. There we go. Let's take a look. Now I'm going to zoom in and really honestly you should probably be a little more zoomed in although I will say sometimes I don't like to be too super zoomed in but you come in and you look for I can't even find where it is let's command Z um, or edit undo there it is look at it here we go redo and you kind of analyze it and decide for yourself if you can tell now I'm not sure if you can but what I see a repl replication of is a vertical line here, kind of diagonal vertical line. That to me looks like a repetition, maybe also some kind of a line here. I'm really careful to try and coat those over with other areas close by, if possible, that have the same value, again, the same lightness or darkness. Because if you get too far away and use a source area, you will get a lighter or darker value, and it's really buggy. Stay close to your area. But anyway, to clean up anything like that, because really do avoid the pattern factor, is to, you know, I might come over here, try to find an area that's pretty benign. Option, Alt, click, depending on your Mac is Option and, and PC is, is Alt. And then you can come over maybe one of these little areas and pop. Uh, try it again, pop. And sort of, I try to do that, create a little randomness in those areas. that break up any pattern. Command zero or control zero to zoom out. Whoa. Make sure you look at your work at 100%. In the bottom left corner you have your percentage. So I'm just going to go 100% down here in the left hand corner. Return and when you look at it at 100% that indeed is Accuracy. I think you can get a really accurate view of, of how it's looking. So then I see little specs and I'm going to come in and option click, come over to the problem and click over it and really analyze that, especially at 100%. Come over here, get as close to the problem like if I'm fixing this spec, get close in, option click, get on top of the problem and smear that on. So it's kind of that idea and you have to do it very carefully and methodically. So that's the idea there. Now I want to move to some other tools like uh, on the fourth down above the clone stamp tool. We've looked at the spot healer in the last section. Now let's look at the healing brush. Healing brush is, works just like the tool we just used, the clone stamp. Just like it, except that it's able on most cases to change values. It's like if you're cleaning up skin tone and especially over here, look at this, the baby here, baby Louise. You've got this scratch. Now, don't worry about this dot inside my my brush. That's from the old sampling uh, over there, what we were working on in the background. It just doesn't know we're about to change it. And what you're going to do is clean this, 
And what you can use is, let's say you really like the actually, you know, maybe the skin tone over here. And it's a different value. This is darker. This is in the shade. This is not. You can actually come in. Make sure you have a soft brush. Come on into the hardness and take that on down a little bit. Maybe to 70, 80. I think it's better to work with a softer brush, but play around with that. And you got to get close to the problem because that's the same value. I, I kind of think of working parallel sometimes if the values will work in your favor. I'm going to come in on the right side. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. It's pretty close to the shadows. Let me see here. We'll try it right here. I'm going to Option Alt, Option for Mac, Alt for PC. Option, click, let go. Move over to the right and click and drag along this avoid the eyebrow. My crosshair is just to the left of my cursor and that eyebrow is coming up so I'm going to stop because I don't want to paint over the eye eyebrow. I'll probably come over here option click and move right over and see if that value is going to work for me. Zoom in a little bit. Come in right next door option click and then move right over here on top of the problem hard to see the crosshair but it's just a little bit to the left of the circle brush and I'm going to move just down sometimes if you're in a parallel situation that's really working you can just move on down move on down move on down and analyze it does not always work and I can see some repetitions here in the skin let's do a edit undo redo and analyze yeah, I can see some replication. I don't know if you can um, from your monitor, but I see this like orangey, peachy looking stripey deal that's going on. This stripe that's happening twice. Do you all see it? I don't know if you do, but I do. And I'm going to come in and that's, you can either just say, forget it. I don't want to do that kind of parallel cleaning because of that possibility. Or again, sometimes I'll use other textures in here and just option click. Whoops. Uh, come in to the left option click and I might clean over a couple things to you know break up the skin play with that also don't forget that you're working with you know quite old pictures and I know for a fact this one's probably got some in, in even more discoloration as you zoom in and I'm at 400 percent so you have to remember that uh, you know, 100% will actually, from your eye looking at it, you'll be able to see if there's any problems. But if you zoom in more, um, you've got to wonder at what point can your eye actually see a problem. I'm going to option click and get rid of this little white dot. And that's this patch tool. Now, what's really cool is that it, the patch tool can also clean up from light to dark and so I don't know if you see on the nose here there's this little scar I'm gonna work and cl option click from a light source over here option click on the skin come in on this side and just dab a clean up there and see how that looks edit undo edit redo no not as good let's see if I can um, I'm gonna back up when I had this again back out Oops. okay I'm um, backing out because I have this problem again I brought went back in history very quickly with shortcut keys um, option command zero I use a lot to go back 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 Anyway, I still have this. I went back far enough to where the uh, scrape is there along the face. And the healing brush, what's really cool about it, is you can use a light area. I'll option click over here and come over onto the problem and use that data. And sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't, but let's zoom in on that. Command plus, plus, space bar. Let's move on over here and look. Looks pretty good. I see a couple stripes, and I can't tell if it's the um, 
skin tone anyway but you know if I feel that way I just option click and I play around with just cleaning it up again a hundred percent is a good place to look here we are at a hundred percent you can kind of analyze it's all kind of a little bit cruddy and there's I think you could probably keep going on forever it just depends on at what point you want to make your client happy and you want to also keep the in this case antique look at the image that's the healing brush and what we love is that if you see a blemish in a darker uh, value of a texture you can actually use the light area option and click and move over and clean up something in the dark region and a lot of times that'll work just fine when it doesn't work is when you're cleaning up something that crosses over two values it's not going to work because it doesn't know what value you're wanting so just make sure you're cleaning up areas that where it's got a clear value okay that is your healing brush patch tool is great and the patch tool is fourth tool down on the left and the third one in the drawer it looks like a little patch and this allows you it's really great first in the options bar make sure you're on source this is what you do you circle the bad here's this big rugged you know tear you can also imagine a pimple and you get in the center of it click hold down and move it into the good which you don't know, have to kind of search desperately for but find the best possible it let go and it value changes did you see how it got darker I'm going to zoom in with the zoom tool and command Z undo redo spacebar let's look at this undo redo Oh, holy smokes, that's pretty good. And if you clean up an area and then use it to be the source area of cleanup, that can be a good idea. But essentially, that's pretty good. Now you can just deselect, select, deselect. Okay, we've got this corner area, and we could try it there. Let's see. Um, zoom in. And I don't know how it'll work here. Let's try it. I'm going to circle this bad corner area. Command minus out a little bit because I can't really see. Avoid these specs. Try to find a good area down here. And you know, it's not really perfect. You'd probably use your clone stamp and clean up little tiny areas until you get a really good section and then go in here and use the patch tool. But anyway, where I'm trying to get through the material for you. Here we are in the corner. We are on source at the top. You select the bad, get inside it, click drag to a good area and I'm just kind of searching for halfway decent area let go not going to work sometimes the healing brush as a value changer gets a little like confused and I think that's what's going on here yeah that's what happens when it's not sure And this edge then I would go back to the clone stamp below here where it just sources exactly what you need option click and then move in and clean up See? Like that. That's a, I like the clone stamp. Clone stamp was the first stamp that came about that fifth tool on the left side. And it honestly is still my favorite. Now the second, the one in there, the second one in the drawer, I don't even want to go over. The pattern stamp tools for more, more for art, in my opinion. Um, it makes more of a tile, kind of linoleum tile fix-up situation. It's not very, at least it doesn't work for me. I don't want to... Um, go through it right now because I see it more of as an art tool but the clone stamps great I think we're probably gonna run out of time so I'm gonna finish up with the patch tool and change the options bar to destination so we're still on the patch tool you can also let's go over the light side find a good area like hey this looks good right here and circle a good area and plop it onto a bad area. Let's go over that. That's with destination cho chosen. And sometimes I've found you can reuse it. I probably wouldn't. Let's not. Deselect or Command D. Circle good. Plop on the back. So if we if the video does end, then that's great because that's what I'm going to end with. I think it's also a value changer, so you can, you know, find a good area. 
You can, this is nice because you can nitpick.